Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to read to you a little bit of this Vlad TV article. It was written by Jessica Todd and it's about Erica Mena and Bow Wow. Basically, <laughs> Little Bow Wow, aka Shad Moss, had an interview with Vlad TV recently. And basically, what he did was he, he I guess, brought up Erica Mena's name or the interviewer brought up her name or whatever. And he says something that, you know, made her feel as if she had the reply. But I'm going to go ahead and read to you what Vlad TV wrote about it and then I'm gonna read to you the actual Instagram message that she posted talking about the interview first up the Vlad TV article says and there's a link to this on my blog by the way Bow Wow recently opened up about his breakup with Erica Mena during an exclusive interview with Vlad TV and he admitted that he called it quits after feeling like he had to choose between his daughter and his fiance the famed entertainer also spoke about how the mother of his child didn't approve of him dating Erica, which the model addressed on Instagram. Okay, so that's Joy Chavez, the beautiful model that he had the child with. I didn't know that she did not approve of Erica Minna, but I can see that because of the way that she was, you know, portrayed on Love and Hip Hop New York, you know, as being this villain when she's, you know, a really nice person. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you what Erica wrote about it all on Instagram. Erica writes, and I quote, Sadly enough, well, actually, let me let me let me say this first. Ira Kamina is a nice person other than the fact that she blocked me on Twitter three years ago. And I'm going to keep on bringing it up until I get unblocked so I can have my men and Mondays back. And, and so I could be thirsty and, and go look at what she's doing. But anyway, since I said something stupid, but I apologize, Erica. I'm famous. Everybody's listening. I know you're listening. Shad Moss, I know you're listening too. shout out a little Bow Wow. So anyways, Erica writes and I quote, sadly enough, the truth is she wanted to be the one who got the ring from day oh the shade oh damn <laughs> well damn <laughs> from day one always wanted to be quote the one even with the baby never was so jealousy caused her to use the child as a pawn oh the shade damn Erica oh, shit I'm gonna have to say more than one damn she said she was that baby as a pawn same thing with Angela Simmons. She didn't quote unquote like Angela either. Never allowed Angela to be around the baby as well. Really? Who doesn't like Angela Simmons? God doesn't like her after making that baby outside of wedlock run around talking about she, she's a preacher's daughter and keeping her late. So that's none of my business. But anyways, who doesn't like Angela Simmons? That's what you call true jealousy and insecurities. Poor thing. Plays innocence so well to the public, but really is the biggest mess of us all. I had to deal with stalking and non-stop late night texts from her begging Shad to leave me as we laid in bed together. I prayed for her. Little does she know to finally move on. Now that I spoke on the truth, let's go on with our lives with a crazy smile face emoji like just upset and drained and just damn. How dare you, Erica? You trying to ruin somebody's day and ruin somebody's life, Jesus. Oh, the shade. Dead wrong. Erica is as brutal and ruthless as she is pretty. You see, this is what I told y'all about these pretty girls, boy. They're monsters in the inside. The way she just mauled that young lady to death was dead wrong. And Joy Chavez is fine as wine. Little Bow Wow, listen, I may have talked some shit about Bow Wow, Shad Moss back in the past, but let me tell you something. He has had some of the finest women. Angela Simmons, Joy Chavez, Sierra, just... Tch. Could you imagine the women that he did not go public with that he either smashed or... Bow Weezy, pop. Listen, if Bow Wow was right here right now, I'd pop his damn collar. I can't even front on him. His track record is... Is beastly. He might have the craziest uh, smash record alive other than Nick Cannon. Now I know what you're thinking. They can't compare to Prince. Like I said, Mudger Fudger, alive. Of course, Prince has the baddest track record of all time. Let's not even go there. Come on now. At least that we know of. But anyways, Erica Men is off the chain for for just just dousing us with this tea. She didn't even pour the tea. She dumped it on our heads. She made like a clumsy Mexican and spilled the beans. And honestly, this was none of our business, but she decided to tell us anyway. Thank you, Erica Mena, because if it wasn't for this tea, I'd be thirsty, but I'm refreshed like a mudger fudger right now. Damn. 
America. I don't think I've ever done a video where I had to say damn three times. But anyways, just because I think that this tea was tongue scorching and I'm going to have to go and put some ice on my tongue and my nipples, doesn't mean that you're going to have to, Jesus. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter. Excuse me. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. And I, uh, I'm not asking for Erica Minutes to follow me on Twitter. I'm just asking to unblock Erica. It's been three years. Like, stop playing. Like, listen, I'm famous. Everybody knows who I am. Somebody uh, will tell you that Meat Magazine said, you know, please unblock me. You know, it's been a long time. I'm a fan. <laughs> Whatever I said, I apologize. I was just being stupid. I uh, take it back, you know, so let me get back my men and Mondays so I can stop asking. And yeah, well, anyways, yeah. Uh, uh, shout out to Erica and Chad.